Okay, this may very well be the easiest party recipe ever. I am going to prepare a cowboy dip and in this short video I'm going to show you how I do it. It's probably very similar to how most people do it. There is no set way to do it. Whatever way you do it is going to be amazing. But here are my ingredients. First I'm starting off with a three quart um, three-quart glass casserole dish gives me the option to if uh, if 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 my guests want to warm it up or if I take it to a party and they want it warmed up uh, we can put it in uh, put it in the oven for at 250 for 10 15 20 minutes and warm it up I like it I, I like cowboy dip cold or cool room temperature but it's your own personal preference so got the glass tempered glass casserole dish three quart in the order that I'm going to layer these and this 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 recipe is all about layering these different items into the dish and that's what makes it so easy so in the order that I'll probably layer them and I say probably because sometimes I take them out of order and it doesn't matter um, but you do want to make your beans go first all right so I get the large can uh, where we get back in the camera here a large can one pound of uh, refried beans okay refried beans one large can of refried beans or or two small ones two of the regular size is the same as one of these okay I got that then next I'll probably put the uh, guacamole all right I just went to the store and got uh, this is probably the most expensive item on the shopping list for this recipe <laughs> I, think it, I think it was about six dollars or something I could very very easily make my own but it would cost about the same amount so I got uh, guacamole sour cream first year I've seen it come in a package like this but I got the I got sour cream so I go uh, beans guacamole sour cream and then I'll put uh, some salsa, picante salsa here, but whatever your preference is. This is uh, 16 ounce, the guacamole, I don't know, 12 ounces, the sour cream is 14 ounces, okay? So those are on the, those are on the base, and then I'm going to put... Um, on the top, on the nope. Next, I'm going to put cheese. <laughs> I'm going to put. I have some Kobe Jack here. I got a pound of Kobe Jack. Use whatever cheese you have or whatever your preference is. So I'll go beans, guacamole, sour cream, salsa, cheese. Okay, that's that's the dip part. Okay, and then the toppings for the toppings. I'm going to put these uh, sliced green chilies and then I'm going to put some sliced olives, sliced black olives, okay? These are each of those small cans, four, three or four ounces, whatever they are, okay? These, um, these have liquid in them. I'll, I'll drain the liquid out. I won't put the liquid in the recipe, so I'll drain these, okay? And then on the very top, I'll put... Uh, slices of avocado on the top okay now I'm preparing this the, the night before I go so I will I'll wait on the avocado until until tomorrow morning slice it up and just lay it on top at the end of the video I'll show you a picture of the end product probably minus the avocado but I will slice the avocado and put it on top tomorrow so it looks nice and last but not least, and the most easy to forget, chips, corn chips. This is what I always forget. In fact, as soon as I turn the camera off, I'll go put these back out in the car. That's where they were. I, uh, I always forget the chips. So anyway, um, all right, let me show you in a series of photographs this process.
Okay, and that's it. This is the final product. You gotta imagine slices of uh, slices of avocado on top. Other than that, it is done. A few notes. Um, I inadvertently got chopped olives. Yikes. No good. Not not appealing to me. So fortunately, I had a can of um, can of whole olives, and uh, I did some slicing. Okay, so uh, lesson learned: read the label. Uh, another note on these um, on this new packaging for the uh, sour cream: um, you got to take you got to twist off this blue part, the top part. See if I can get it off with one hand. You got to twist that off, and then there's a pull tab. All right, that 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 pull tab. That's underneath. Okay. <laughs> so now you know. I didn't, but now you know. One last thing. Pyrex makes this really cool top goes on there, neato, and this carrying case. Probably got it at Walmart. I doubt if I got it at Target, but that's what it'll be in tomorrow. Super handy. I use it a couple times a year. That's it. That's Cowboy Dip. I uh, hope the video was uh, super informative. Now that you've seen it, you'll go, oh my gosh, why do you even have to make a video about it? Because it's so easy. All right. Have a good day.